Alright, so we got the car right here. And uh, sorry about the camera work. This is kind of a DIY thing. And I got some little stuff going on here. Just ignore that. But let me get these uh, first screws up out of the way. Set up the damn camera a little bit. Show you as I go. Oh, the old tires I had them. Stock tires. So, there's this nub screw right here on the drive shaft. And there's the other one on the other side, obviously. Make sure I have the right tool here. That's a 2H. Sort of battle back and forth with the camera. Like I said, I wasn't really ready to do this quite yet. But, I mean, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So there's two screws back here. As long as I don't try to strip them out. So I don't lose them. It pulls straight off the back. And literally just. And that's the cover. And pull the diff out. And bear in mind what side, you know, your gear's on. There's a little plate right there. And the gear's on the opposite side. For a quick reminder, I need to drop that. So that's the bubble gear, obviously. I'll rotate it back around this way so you can see. Scoot it up a little bit. Alright, just bang, bang, drive shafts out. So I'm going after the screw on the drive shaft. Sure you don't lose either one of them and they're tiny little screws they pinch either side of the uh, bevel gear and hold it in I'm gonna rotate the drive shaft around using the front tires to get the grub screw on the other side should just pull the drive shaft out and then your bevel gear if you push 
right here in the back of it should be already poking out for the most part right in there anything use the screwdriver and poke it in through that bearing just to help get a little extra distance out and as you can see it's already poking out of there a good way and that's the bevel gear now if you buy a replacement it is slightly different than the stock one but it's in essence it's exactly the same thing and the stock and the one you buy from them I don't know why they replace or change the part itself but that's the removal of the bevel gear and you just put everything back in and put all the screws back in to get it back um you know need any more help with that man